right, everybody. This is uh, the Salon Audio Montreal show from Jersey E event. We'll be starting in just a couple of seconds, getting a couple of things ready for us here. Um, and again, this is going to be hopefully an informative yet lighthearted um, E stream over here uh, just to connect everybody and uh, make things a little bit more tolerable during the interesting times we have here since we all would rather really be in Montreal right now over at the Bonaventure. So hang loose. And get ready to enjoy the Montreal Audio Fest from Jersey. All right, folks, we are almost there. Just getting a couple of things on with the links. And we'll be good to go. So hang tight and get ready for the Salon Audio Montreal show from New Jersey. Shield your ears, everybody. Our record's about to be clean. Actually, wait a minute. Why have you shield your ears when you can watch? This isn't part of it, everybody. Just getting a record. Cleaned up over here. We just uh, put one on. Turning on the turntable motor. Pop up our fluid. Okay, now shield your ears. Here it comes. Just like that, we have a clean record. Okay, now back to you all just watching the logo for one more second while we get started. Just working on sharing the link, getting everybody all set. We'll put some music on for the background.
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Weisfeld with VPI Industries, and welcome to our first e-event. Obviously, all of us wish we were out there up in Montreal enjoying a good time, but we figure if we can't be up there due to the current state of events, we would just bring a little taste of Montreal over here. Now, this whole event is kind of... Well, it's just made to be fun for us to connect with people and everything, and the overall goal is to share and connect those who are watching at home with some equipment. Fortunately, uh, over at the VPI house, we do have a lot of equipment and a number of brands that were supposed to be at the Montreal show. Uh, but in addition, not so much tonight because uh, tonight was kind of just, in a, in a way, today was setup day. Uh, <laughs> so um, we're not going to go too crazy with stuff today. So let's just get that little flavor and a nice little guest appearance. It sounds like good old Harry himself is going to come down tomorrow and be part of this. So I figure we can do the heavy-duty DJing tomorrow once we have him here. Don't worry. I've been staying a nice distance. Actually, I haven't seen my dad in quite a while due to all of this and... Uh, he, he's going to come down. We'll uh, stay away from each other since uh, we haven't seen each other. Social distancing. And again, in the midst of all of this, it is very important that everybody is safe at home. And please just, you know, be, be smart. Wash your hands. Stay away from people. If you have to be around people, like my dad, when he comes down tomorrow, I have no worries because we're going to stay away. Uh, he's probably going to be wearing a mask, and that's just fine. And I figure right now no one will be phased by anyone wearing a mask or gloves, although I still do feel a little funky when I go outside wearing my mask and gloves. And, uh, you know, it's uh, everyone just take whatever precautions you can and, you know, use sanitizer. Oh, wait, speaking of which, I almost forgot. And recently, uh, I think some of you may have seen that we've actually started producing our own VPI hand sanitizer. Now, this is, it's... It's basically exactly what it is. It's just to help uh, do our part as far as uh, providing sanitizer for those who need. Um, again, it's uh, good in respect of if uh, you get a package or things like that. But anyway, um, just do what you can to be safe. I wish I was up in Montreal. So now instead, we're going to bring it home here with us. First, the first treat. And again, some of this is going to be for fun. Some of this is going to be just to give you a little flavor of it. So the first exciting thing, we are, I, I got inspired to do some baking, and that's right, I baked the, I, I baked this scratch, that's right, Sarah Tremblay, all the way from, uh, okay, they, they ate a bunch of them, that's right, we've got Sarah's special brownies, right here in Jersey, you know, she shared the recipe, super excited, thanks Sarah, and uh, it was so delicious, um, you know, I don't know what those secret ingredients were, but uh, but boy, were they just absolutely delicious. So that's something when you go to the Montreal show, Sarah and uh, Michelle, I doubt Michelle does any of the baking. I'm sure it's all Sarah. They are famous for their amazing brownies. And uh, so that's definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to seeing at some point. And I was able to find it. I, I went far and wide and I found a Tim Hortons. Yeah, sort of, kind of, because that's another treat. The Tim Hortons that's uh, right next door. Hold on. Oh, so difficult to do with one hand here. So uh, we found the Tim Hortons. That's what it is. And again, just keeping light over here. And we even got a... That's it. So we, we, we got our favorite... Uh... Oh, boy, what did they do? Yeah, we, we even got our, our favorite uh, maple... Uh, here, there we go. That's it, the maple cream donut that we love so much. Brought to you here from Montreal right to Jersey. So, yeah, you get another piece of Montreal. And, of course, fine music from Montreal residents um, or home people there. So we have uh, Dominique, who you're actually listening to in the background. And, of course, Cocktail Hour. You know, we can't have this show properly without there being a Montreal Audio Fest Cocktail Hour with some Crown Royale. So the a blended Canadian whiskey, some fine stuff there. So there we go, guys. I, I did the best I could. Tried to bring a, a taste of... Uh-oh, where'd it go? Ah, see nothing. So tried to bring a little taste of Montreal home here. So having Sarah's... Uh, uh, brownies, authentic, authentic Tim Hortons, 
having uh, recordings uh, by Dominique. Uh, I'm actually going to be digging out some other records as well. And also I have to be careful with the records that we play just to make sure the Facebook police do not lock this whole thing down. And I do want this to be shared on, uh, I plan to share this on YouTube later on for those who are not on social media. So that will work as well. And again, with the, the crown. So moving on. So the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at some of the brands. So, and... Again, this is going to continue for the next few days. So VPI visits Montreal. Brought to you by VPI's Matt Weisfeld. A special shout out to the Montreal show sponsors. Yamaha, Motit. Uh, you know, I don't even know if I'm saying some of this stuff right. I don't even know these guys too well. Uh, Head Engineering Design. Uh, so these are the sponsors of the Montreal show. So just giving them all a little bit of a shout out there. So thank you for supporting the Montreal show. And... Uh, you know, so here we are just trying in our Montreal effort over here at the VPI house. So we're going to go through the brands. And my goal, it's not going to happen tonight because this took a little more prep than expected. And essentially give you guys an idea of where this all came from. Sarah and myself were talking last night and we figured, hey, let's, let's make this happen. Let's still do the Montreal show. So we will do the larger portion of it tomorrow. So this is kind of just getting us all warmed up. We are going to listen to some music. We do have two systems we're going to uh, we're going to give a listen to. And we're going to go over all of the brands. So I, I also was unable to find the tripod. So we're going to do those brands tomorrow when I have a tripod. And so we're going to go through over here and... And just for those who've never been to the VPI house, there are other items. For example, we've got a shout out to Decibel 9, a record rack company with uh, phenomenal furniture. It looks absolutely beautiful, holds a lot of records, very robust, and uh, fits perfectly in your kitchen. And speaking of record racks, uh, another one from New Zealand. Put the light on. There we go. So another record rack uh, from. Uh, Soul to Soul distribution over in New Zealand uh, brought it. Yeah, Soul to Soul. I got it right. That's the name of it. So another fine record uh, holder, record rack uh, for coming out of New Zealand, as well as other amazing products. Uh, for example, another Decibel 9 console, which can hold your table. Here's a VPI Aries turntable with 10-inch arms. So we actually have turned... This, uh, so, you know what? I'm just going to show you. This is what threw me off when I walked in. That's right. A pair of Tannoy memory speakers because when you have Harry Weisfeld in the VPI house, you never know what you're going to find next. But we have converted the VPI house into also a bit of a museum. I'll go over this more in detail tomorrow, but you can actually see and when the uh, um, the quarantine is lifted and we could stop with our social distancing, you all can come on over and socialize and actually be able to see the history of VPI starting from our first turntable. This first one being the HW9. And it goes right on up through the HW19. Classic. And to our current present day HW40. So we have a lot of history in this house. It's been a long time coming. And we wanted to create a showroom that feels like a home. And so that, that's why it is a home. So when you come in here, you can just sit back, enjoy, listen to music, have a good time, have a drink or two of, uh, you know, a soft drink, of course. So then as we go through the house, we're just going to focus on two rooms for tonight. Um, both, I believe everyone that's in this room was supposed to um, exhibit at, uh-oh, uh-oh. You see, this is why you need to have a true lift. And I have a true lift. I have plenty of true lifts since we bring them in in the U.S., but I have them all at the factory because they keep selling. So we don't have – I didn't have one here, so that's uh – Let's bring that back here. So let's talk about the product of this room. This room uh, features a Canada favorite. We have uh, Gershman Acoustics. So we have uh, uh, the Gershman Acoustics Avantgarde's. And uh, for any manufacturers watching, if I get any of your product names wrong, my apologies. Feel free to please correct in the comments. And, uh, and actually, I had planned on trying to pull people in uh, from the manufacturing companies um, with the live streams, but for some reason, now that I'm on the company page, I'm struggling to find that, but we can try that again tomorrow. So I'm hitting some technical difficulties. We did try to get this out on multiple platforms, so we're just doing the best we can. So here's a pair of avant-garde speakers from Gershman Acoustics, based out of Toronto, and wired with Nordos cables. And actually, had we 
been in Montreal, one of the rooms we were going to be with was with Gershman Acoustics, uh, Nordas, and uh, and other brands. Um, and one of them also, actually, this was the cartridge you were all supposed to be hearing. So the rest of the system consists of the Voyager. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering, but Matt, what happened to the Voyager? Why can't I find that? We had plans to do um, a facelift, which pretty much the only reason that's being held up now is COVID-19. Um, all of our steel shops and... Uh, and the partners that were working on this, unfortunately, are not working, are well, unable to for obvious reasons. So that's the only holdup. Um, actually, all cool, exciting things that are coming from VPI, uh, we were we were really rocking it and being on schedule. And uh, then, well, pandemic. So here we are. So we all have to just, you know, when life gives you lemons, you got to make, make lemonade. And right now we have to make a lot of lemonade. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Rogers High Fidelity was going to be at the Montreal show. Rogers, if you weren't, maybe maybe you should now. So here is Rogers High Fidelity tube amplifier. Uh, we've uh, used this, this amplifier um, in the VPI house, and it shows many a time. Very warm, sweet sound. Phenomenal product, uh, made in America. They're actually not too far away from VPI. Not sure of what Rogers' current state is, whether they're still going or not. Uh, but again, we're hoping all of our manufacturing partners are, you know, just, we just hope everyone's staying safe and just, you know, I, I posted on Facebook and I'll just say it again. The goal right now is for everyone to survive. We just have to get through this. It's not about growing or anything. It's just, just getting through the days, and that, that's why I want to do these live streams, just so, to remind everyone that you guys are not alone. We're, we're all there. We're just trying to do the best we can. And then over here, we've got another Canada favorite, our friends at ISO Acoustics. So this is the ISO Acoustics Delos, and it's a, it's a great platform to use, and it's got isolation underneath. Now, that's always a big question as far as isolation. It's like, does it work? What's it do? All that other fun stuff. But the thing I'll say with Isoacoustics is that from our experience, it works. He's uh, Dave Morrison's done the work. He's done the measurements, and you can you can hear a difference. So it uh, so good on them for that. That was why we we love uh, partnering with them as well. And this specific table is a bit of a unique one. This is actually and that's something else that is putting being put on hold this year for VPI. Our custom. The plan was to have custom products this year, or at least the availability of it. Um, we we did launch our VPI Direct site very prematurely. The plan was for that to come out third quarter of this year with customer and dealer portals and the ability for you to essentially build your table, print it out, and hand it to your dealer, and there you go. It's done uh, in, in the sense of custom colors and whatnot. Some of you may have seen that gloss, that beautiful gloss blue table which is gone so if you all liked it and you were thinking about it too late now you all just have to wait until the world gets uh back to spinning the right way and so with this specific table this was one that uh was inspired by our thailand distributor audio excellence woody giving you a shout out here about asking about rose gold and rose wood and win a prime signature so we did it and it's phenomenal it's I I think it's gorgeous. I mean, it's it's an acquired taste. This look is definitely not for everybody, but it just goes to show you that anything can be put together and have a look, and that uh, everyone has their own preferences and taste. This guy is still sitting here, of course, for the reasons of the world uh, having the current situation. It, uh, this table has a rose gold periphery ring, uh, rose gold uh, center weight, a gimbal fat boy, and another question people have been asking: is, Well, Matt. VPI has been known for unipivot arms. Why the change? Is unipivot not as good anymore? And realistically, they're both good. I personally, from day-to-day -day listening, well, actually, no, that's, that's wrong. From detailed listening, I do prefer the unipivot. But I'm finding I'm using the gimbal a lot more, be it because now that I'm a dad and, and just don't have the time to listen like I used to, and just the ease and the soundstage and a kind of like a bullet point answer when people ask me, well, which sounds better? I feel from my listening experience, the Unipivot gives you more detail, more dynamics, and especially, you know, with the female vocals on the, uh, and not just female, just like, you know, higher frequency vocals on the inner grooves, it really nails it. Whereas with the gimbal, the first thing is it just feels so much better. I mean, we've been making Unipivots for a long time, and I think we can all agree, Unipivots are a pain to deal with. They just are. They, you know, they uh, they can be fidgety or feel fidgety rather. Now, once you're used to them, to me, a unipivot's no problem. But I used to be there where I'd use a unipivot, 
and think to myself, oh, geez, I'm going to wipe the cartridge. And uh, I did. I did wipe a couple of cartridges back in the day, and that's why I know my dad, Harry Weisfeld, loves me, because uh, I'm, I'm still here, and uh, I, I appreciate that. And those of you audiophiles out there whose children have wiped their cartridges, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad you all love your children, too. And I'm sure my daughter, Shiloh, will wipe some cartridges in her day at some point as well. Now, with the gimbal, again, so it's easier to use. It has a warmer, sweeter sound, in my opinion, and, and just a... a um, I'd say a wider soundstage, but of course you can go into deeper detail and a longer conversation, but just for the, the purpose of this video, that's a bullet point idea with it, and then the, again, the wiring is Nordos cabling, and uh, yeah, I think I covered all the equipment in here. So now the artists we're going to use, the three that we're going to focus on, just because I know YouTube won't smash us over here, um, is uh, um, the... Wait, what, what, what do we have on here now? Uh, Dominique. So we're listening to Dominique, and what we're going to do is, and forgive me for any shaking, I cannot find the, the, the tripod in the midst of the mess, so I, I will hold my breath and do the best I can. So we're going to put on the, the track, and we're going to sit here and listen together, and uh, we're going to hope that, uh, that uh, Facebook doesn't shut this down. And, oh, I did forget something. How can I forget this? Something very important. The Shyla Cartridge. Unfortunately, the production of this has also been moved out because of the coronavirus. Uh, this was, um, we were planning to have this available by Munich. Now, I'm just telling everybody, we'll see. Uh, we do have other cartridges that uh, we can talk about later on. VPI is currently the distributor for Vandenhull cartridges in the U.S., as well as partnering with Audio Shield on the rest of the Vandenhull uh, components. And we'll be hearing from them a little bit more later on. So, but from an overall standpoint, this cartridge is made with Audio Technica, tuned by VPI, and it's just a pleasure working with them in general. And we, I, I think we create a phenomenal cartridge together. This will be available and retailing for fifteen hundred dollars down the pike. When that down the pike happens is still to be determined, depending upon how quickly we get out of the apocalypse. So, with that being said, let's listen together to Miss Dominique. Oh, and let's raise the volume. Someone just walked in the door. Thank you, Michelle, for posting that link. Yours to shake down Cause 
Sometimes I'll be the river that fades in the sea. I'll be the flower that fell from the tree. Ain't no reason why. The days you dreamed are drowned in. Should not be crawling in pain. Come on, step out, come on, step out, come on, step out. This next track yeah, is actually one we usually use for shows. So most of you probably have never even heard that first track because we usually just jump right to this one. So. And that, everybody, is the Gershman Rogers Nordas Audio Technica ISO Acoustics. Oh, and VPI.
room over here in this one. Uh, so this is one of the rooms over here, um, and we're going to do one more room of listening. And again, today's just kind of like a, a little bit of a sampler, uh, now that we're getting all set and having a better idea of uh essentially i was just messing around all day trying to have a live stream over multiple platforms and uh and figure out how we can have guest stars and people coming in which i think we'll do better tomorrow because i would like to have more manufacturers that uh for you all to hear from uh from the presentation standpoint and so we'll be having that a little bit more so i am going to take this record with us because again this one is safe so you're hearing lots of Dominique, which uh, I'm personally good with because I happen to like her music. And so we're going to take this record with us. This guy right there. Okay. And there we go. Oh, don't try that at home, folks. Then we're going to move over into the next room. And in this room, and again, it's something else that you all missed out on. We were really thinking about bringing this baby up. I'm not firing this up today. Possibly tomorrow with Harry. Maybe that'll happen. But uh, this is uh, this is our real to real player, our Impex. That uh, we were actually with our friends at Joseph Audio and another Canada favorite, Moon by Sim Audio, and our HW40 with Vandenhall cabling, Vandenhall DDT2 special cartridge and uh i'm actually i'm pausing i'm looking around to figure out where the heck the periphery ring went but i guess i must have stole it from one of the other rooms and uh never mind I just realized we're missing something that speaker cable okay so anyway this is a room that we'll listen to more so tomorrow and uh so here we go with that and yeah let's move back to the big room Going forward some more. And so tomorrow, um, we will hit the... Uh, I think what we're going to do, everybody, is I'm going to... Well, what, how, what time are we at? Okay. So I think what we'll do is we're going to have that... We're going to start to call it there. Um, just because... I'll just show you what this room looks like. That's right, everybody. This is what I walked into. You never know what to expect when you walk into the VPI house and you haven't been here in a little while. But that's a good thing. That just means we always like to play around and uh, do lots of stuff. So when I walked into uh, the, the big room, I'm like, whoa, what's all this equipment? Because we're always playing, listening to different and interesting stuff, and we love experimenting with different gear. This specific room, for anyone who hasn't seen it before, we call the Fair Play Room because we actually take all three of our tables, set it up with the same cartridge, in this case an Audio-Technica cartridge, and we just play the record from, we go from one table and go right down, play the same track over and over again, and uh, just to have a fair comparison with it. So, everybody, thanks for checking out our live stream for night one of the e-event of the Montreal Audio Fest show from Jersey. Hope you all enjoyed so far. Expect more stuff tomorrow. We're going to be starting at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Um, by that point, we will have the rest of the brands all set. Um, again, this this crazy idea happened late last night, and I'm I'm glad we're doing it. I'm glad we're able to at least give a little bit of a feel of the brands that you all could have heard at Montreal, uh, because all these shows and uh, these these are the opportunities for customers, for the people at home to meet us, to come and talk with the vendors, talk with the manufacturers, hear the equipment. And it is a shame that we missed out on it. The Montreal show was supposed to be the last public show VPI went to. And then, well, the whole world went to went in an interesting direction, let's just say, in a positive way. But fear not. Remember, though, we still have our Montreal brownies. We still have our Tim Hortons. We have our Canadian whiskey. And let's do some more here. Let's make some more of that. There we go. We got this. Another... Another Tim Hortons maple donut, just like that. So, again, folks, keep clean, wash your hands, use sanitizer, reach out to VPI Industries if you need it. I'm Matt Weissel, VPI Industries. Thanks for joining us for the first e-event. Stay tuned tomorrow for even more fun stuff and more listening, and we'll see you next time.